Season 9 of Drake's Migration Nation is powered by Hydra Trek. Powerful, rugged, amphibious vehicles. Rio Ammunition. Share the experience. Higdon Outdoors. Get real. Boss Drives. Take charge. Realtree. Family, friends, and the outdoors. And by Drake Waterfowl Systems. Innovators in waterfowl hunting. The next morning is a few degrees cooler. It's still windy and the birds flew so well, we're gonna go back basically to the same spot and set up the layout boat. But this morning we got a special guest with us, Randy's fiance, Amy. Amy grew up hunting waterfowl with her father. So I'm guessing that's why she understands what Randy loves to do. All right, we're ready. It's legal shooting time. Had a couple birds fly up in here early on us. I'm in the layout boat first, and you can just tell it's going to be one of those kind of mornings. Here's sink, another one over to deep. The action was fast and furious. They're almost hitting us. Pow! <laughs> That's in your face, man. Woo, nice strike, too. I can see the green on the back of his head. Woo! <laughs> number two. Why did I drive from Maryland? To see the number of birds just like this. Look at that. The Drake Eider is a crazy beautiful bird. From his bill, to the green in his face, the peach on his chest, the feathers are almost like hair. Let's get Amy in the boat. I'm getting out of here. That layout boat, man, that's just flat out cool. I get out, it's Amy's turn now. Amy's got this down, and you know what? It looks like she might have done this before. Nice. Very nice. I always used to hunt with my dad a little bit, but he's what really got me into like the waterfowl hunting. Before too long, she's got her birds, and it's time to go. Just another awesome morning here in Massachusetts. With the next day, we're gonna switch it up and try something different. We're going to an area where we've seen a lot of birds flying through, and we're gonna climb up on some rocks. Sadly, it's the last day of our hunt, and it's also the last day, day number 60, of the special sea duck season. Oh, the decoys are in range, gentlemen. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's good. We got the man, the myth, and the legend, Riley McHugh. He's going to climb up on the rocks with us also. Hey, Riley, get it. That's the way to start the morning, Jeff. Nice big old Drake Eider. Riley truly is a New England legend. All right, let's get ready for some more. He's been guiding full time since the late 1990s. Yeah, Jeff. Thank you, thank you. One more down, Randy's picking up another one. And truth, it's just great to hang out with him. That is looking nice right there. Yes, sir. We get a couple birds early, and you can just tell it's going to be a great day. With the south wind, we're not complaining. The temperatures are a little bit milder. But again, the ice is still flowing behind us strong. Nice shot, Jeff. That was beautiful. On this 60th day, the last day of the special sea duck season, the action is strong. We're one bird shy of our limit, but we're not going to be greedy. Again, the ice is flowing pretty good, and the Coast Guard cutter has agreed to kind of poke a hole through the ice for us to get back in on the outgoing tide. New England truly is a special place. We experienced a lot, I mean a lot of stuff, in a very short period of time. If you enjoy duck hunting like I do, this is a place you've got to come check out. Rich in waterfowl and rich in history, this is a special place in the Migration Nation.